One more time. Well, it's summer. So we might as well have a good time. And you're probably wondering, what is there to do in Boise, Idaho? Well, in this video, I wanna talk about 10 things that you can do for free in this city. You gotta be kidding me. These are things that I like to do with my family. So bring the family along. They're great fun. It's suitable for all ages. Uh, but before I get to that, let me just say that my name is Benj Foreman. I'm a realtor here in Boise, Idaho. And if you are looking to relocate to the area or you have a house that you wanna buy or sell, reach out to me. I'd love to help you out. Uh, you can find my contact details down in the description box below. Okay, enough of that. Roll the tape. Watch for sturgeon at the nature center downtown. There's a big pond that you can see massive sturgeon and a ton of other fish. Along the way, there's some aquariums that you can see them swimming around in their natural habitat. And there's some signs that talk about the fish and the wildlife and how to conserve the environment. It's a fun place to take the kids to, for them to learn about what animals live here in Idaho. And there's a visitor center that you can see some stuffed uh, animals or mounted animals. And as a bonus tip, bring a sandwich because there's a beautiful park next door and you want to spend the afternoon uh, with your kids there. Touch me, touch me, touch. Check out the aquarium and big game display at Cabela's. It's pretty cool. It's kind of like a mini zoo that's for free. Three, throw some food in a cooler and go for a picnic at one of the local parks. This is Ann Morrison Park. It's probably our favorite park. It's fun to just come here and just be lazy. Boise has tons of cool parks, so the possibilities there are really pretty endless. Number four, get some exercise and hike up Table Rock Mountain. That's where I'm headed right there. It's probably about a half hour, 45 minute walk up. And if you take some kids, probably take a couple hours to go up and back. But it's a nice view of the Treasure Valley. And if you go in the morning, like right now, you hear the birds and you see the wildlife. It's beautiful. We'll often go for a swim in the Boise River or in one of the ponds. This is Esther Simplot Pond and they have Quinn's Pond just next door. Uh, it's an, they got a nice beach here. You can bring your rafts and other canoes and other flotation devices. And if you go down to the Boise River, they have some nice beaches there and some pools to swim in and even some rope swings. I'm getting too old for this. Nah, let's just go for it. So Idaho is landlocked, but that doesn't mean we don't have surfing here. Check it out. Six, drown some worms in the river and try and catch some trout for your skillet. Along the Boise River, the options really are pretty endless. You can find some holes all along the Greenbelt. And if you're not getting much luck along the river, you can go to Julius Kleiner Park and try and catch some fish there. Nice or job. Esther Simplot Park, they have some good fish in there as well. Seven, go for a bike ride at the Eagle Bike Park super fun. They have a bunch of different trail options. You can't even walk on them because they're only for bikes. And if you're ambitious, they have this little jump section, which is kind of fun. Eight, play some good old-fashioned sports at a park, like basketball. Frisbee golf. It's actually a pretty popular sport here. They have frisbee golf courses all over the city and you don't have to use a real fancy one. You can use a 99 cent one like mine. Tennis or pickleball? Bocce ball. Nine, go for a little nature walk at Barber Park. There's some cool foliage like you can see here. You walk through the trees and discover the little trails. Maybe even play hide and go seek. It's a fun little walk to take the family on. If you come at the right time, there's beaches with nobody on them. Kind of feel like Indiana Jones. Now before I move on, let me give you not one, not two, not three, not four, but five more bonus things to do for free uh, here in Boise. But 
Unfortunately, because of the virus, they're currently shut down, but in the next several weeks, a month maybe, my guess is they'll be open again. Number one, the public libraries have a number of activities that are really fun for the kids. Uh, we went to one back in December, I think it was, and they had some sort of uh, holiday themed activities that were pretty fun. Number two, the learning center near uh, Camelback Park, just behind Camelback Park in the foothills. Uh, they also have some activities and some fun displays to check out. Number three, beef up your history at the Capitol building. Uh, it's totally free to go into and you can get a tour of the Capitol building. It's kind of fun to just see where the state legislature meets and what they do. Number four, if you're into skateboarding, uh, Boise has a number of skate parks. I'm not a skater so I'm, I don't really, you know, know which one is better than the other. Uh, but I do know of two of them, one of them downtown uh, by the connector, at the end of the connector. And the second one is over at the bike park in Eagle. And then number five, on a hot summer day, you just want to cool down, check out the splash pads around Boise. Uh, we like to go to two of them, we like to go to the one in Julius Kleiner Park and the other one at Settlers Park. So those are fine and there's several others as well that you can check out. I'll put a link to those down in the description box below as well. And number 10, float the lazy river at the Minor Park. It's a bit cold, but it's nice and fun. There's a little stretch that's fun to do over and over. And if you don't have one of these flotation devices, you can pick them up for under five bucks at Walmart. Here we go. Woo, it's cold. Well, I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit that little thumbs up button. But also, what did I miss? Is there something that you like to do that I didn't mention? If there is, let me know in the comments below. I'm always looking to add to my list too. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, I'll ask you one last time. Hit the subscription button and that little notification bell. And if you do both of those things, I'll see you in the next one. She loves me as she needs to know